بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Today our presentation about acute myeloid leukemia in five, or the other name acute monocytic leukemia. Leukemia in general is a type of cancer of the blood or bone marrow characterized by an abnormal increase of immature WBCs called PLAST. The definition of acute monocytic leukemia is a distinct rare subtype of acute myeloid leukemia with characteristic biologic and clinical features. Classification According to French American Bridge classification, acute myeloid leukemia is divided into subtypes M0 through M7. Our disease today is M5, which is acute monocytic leukemia. The percentage of adult AML patient is 10%. Pathogenesis M5 is associated with characteristic chromosomal abnormalities, often involving chromosome 11. The disease is associated with hyperleukocytosis, extramedullary involvement, hemophagocytosis, and coagulation abnormalities including disseminated intravascular coagulation. Differential diagnosis. Other malignancies that should be differentiated from AML are acute lymphocytic leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, chronic myeloid leukemia, bone marrow metastasis of solid tumor. Also include non-malignant disorders like transient leukemoid reaction, juvenile chronic syndrome, infectious mononucleases, viral induced bone marrow suppression, and aplastic anemia. AML M5 is defined by more than 30% of myeloblasts in the bone marrow aspiration. Bone marrow monocytic cells comprise more than 80% of non erythroid cells. The percent of monoplast in monocytic cells determine the subtype of acute myeloid leukemia M5. More than 80% it's AML M5A. If less than 80% it's AML M5B. Sign and symptoms. Bleeding problem from thrombocytopenia, epistaxis, oral or gingival bleeding, rectal blood loose, menorrhea, and cerebral hemorrhage. Swallow lymph glands in abdomen, under arms, groin, and neck. General signs and symptoms of leukemias are fatigue and fever, susceptibility to infections, abnormal bruising, bone and joint pain, enlarged spleen and liver, weakness, weight loss, and loss of appetite, shortness of breath when exercising, pitchy, excessive sweating, especially at night. Lab diagnosis. Routine blood analysis show shown a normocytic, normochromic, anemia with a decreased number in reticulocyte and thrombocyte, while WBC is high but sometimes is low. Blood chemistry analysis should include plasma electrolytes, uric acid, acetate dehydrogenase, creatinine, and blood urea nitrogen. Treatment Treatment is usually divided into two chemotherapy phases, remission induction and post-remission therapy. The first phase concentrate on getting rid of all visible leukemia. It usually involves two chemotherapy drugs, but in more difficult cases can involve as many as four. This initial treatment lasts one week. Sometimes a second or a third round may be given, each lasting a week. This is done in hospital since the patient's blood cell counts may be dangerously low during this time. Drug to raise wide blood cell counts, antibiotics, and blood product transfusions may be used to help protect, protect against complication depending on preference of the patient. Treatment If induction is successful, no leukemia cell will be found in the blood, and the number of abnormal cells in the bone marrow will be less than 5% within a week or two. The second phase is to try to destroy any remaining leukemia cell and help prevent relapse. The option for this phase are several courses of high dose citrapine 
chemotherapy. Donor stem cell and or stem cell from own patient. The high dose citrapine chemotherapy is different from the induction therapy in that is given in higher dose over a period of five days. This process may be repeated as needed. As the donor stem cell transplant, patient first receive very high doses of chemotherapy to destroy all pan mar all bone marrow cells. This is followed by either a donor or patient's own stem cell transplant to restore blood cell production. Prognosis: Leukemia treatment has improved over the years, so research has focused on why some patients have a better chance to be cured than others. The AML subtypes certainly played a role in this. Other differences among patients that affect response to treat are called prognostic factor. They help doctors decide if people with a certain type of leukemia should receive more or less treatment. Prognostic factor. This prognostic factor include the, the, the cytogenic test result showing chromosome or gene change, the patient age, and the white blood cells count, pre-existing blood disorder, and the history of treatment which chemotherapy and or radiation therapy for an earlier cancer. This is all about our presentation. Thanks for listening and I hope we hope all to this be useful. Thanks. Thanks.